Now, when it comes to actually thinking about individual components of audiovisual and how you're going to be using them in your worship service, some would disagree with me and defer here. And you really, I'm not going to make a big deal of it, but I actually believe that what you're doing in terms of your projection and your screens is a higher priority than maybe something like your sound or even your lighting. And here's why. If you're in a smaller setting uh, of, you know, if you're just getting started, for example, or maybe you just uh, have a smaller congregation, uh, you know, and you're in a small meeting in a smaller room with, you know, just a few dozen people, uh, you don't necessarily need a very, uh, you don't have to have a sound system necessarily because you could probably project your voice very easily uh, to make sure everybody can hear you. Also, when it comes to lighting, uh, it, it's not as, as long as, you know, people can see your face, it's not crucial that you have, you know, top notch, you know, lighting and all of that. But when it comes to your screens and projection, I think that could be very helpful because it just gives that a little bit of a visual enhancement and you're able to project things like, you know, your song and your worship lyrics uh, so that people can follow along. 